What's going on YouTube? Justin here, back into the game with another Miata video. So, I needed to replace my coilovers because they are shot, seized, and will not rise up in order for me to pass inspection. So, the box came in. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this with you guys and then install them. Same video, enjoy. All right guys, so you can't see the label here. I just got some cheap eBay max speeding rods. I have had max speeding rods on my previous car before, so I have no complaints with that one on the Civic. It was on a Honda Civic. This one is for a Miata, obviously. And these are also upgraded. These are the newer versions they got with the 24-way adjustable dampening, which is exciting. So, they will last me a good two years or so until I get enough money to actually get something worthwhile. So, as you can see here, the contents of the packaging comes with a little packet here, insulation instructions, and uh, the coilovers. I believe whichever ones are the front and rear, I couldn't tell you right now. But I'm going to take it all out of the packaging and then uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys, so I've got the things to unlock these perches and stuff to loosen and tighten them. It comes with an Allen key. And then I believe these shorter ones are for the front here. So these two are the front, these two are the rear. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to take the rear wheels off and uh jack up the car i've already got the car chalks and everything so that's all we got to do in order to keep going All right guys, so now that the wheels are off, the rear of the car is up. There is two 13s up here for each coilover. And then down here, all we're gonna have to remove is the sway bar end link, a 17 millimeter bolt here, and then possibly this bolt here. Without further ado, let's do that on both sides. All right guys, so I have this side out and the other side out as well. I'm going to continue to do it off camera and just give you guys updates to keep the video short. But that is the new one. It's going to go in here and go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So get the fresh new coilover assemblies in, on, nice and tight, ready to put um, tires back on. And uh, once we put the tires and lugs back on, lower it down, and then we'll do the front. All right, guys, so I got the rear end complete. It is looking a little high. I'm hoping it will settle down a little bit uh, once I start driving it around and everything a little bit. 
But other than that, it's looking good. It'll pass inspection. Gonna go ahead and jump to the front end. Let's get the uh, wheels off and jack up the car. All right, guys. So I've got both wheels off, as you can see here. Let's go ahead and start taking them off. I'm gonna, like I said, do it off camera again. Real simple though, two bolts on the top on each coilover. And then down here, probably have to remove the sway bar and link here. This is a, another 17 millimeter and with the 17 millimeter knot on the other side and it should come right out easy. Let's get to it. All right guys, so as you can see, I got both coilover assemblies out it's in the old ones. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the new ones. But I did wanna state that I had to unfortunately remove the nut that goes to the spindle and goes to the upper control arm. Not too big of a deal, just a little bit more work. Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, so the coilovers are fully installed. It sits a little high, but like I said, I'm hoping it'll settle just a little bit. I might have to do a little bit of tweaking up in the front, but I actually like the way it sits right now. Um, it is diving down just a tad bit, but I think I'm gonna leave it at this because I also know it'll probably pass for inspection now because see it's plenty high and it shouldn't settle any further. And for the dampening, I already tightened it all the way down because I want it all the way to 24 clicks. So that'll also probably help if it is gonna rub. I don't think it's gonna rub though, but I said, like I said, if it will, if it was to, it's at the stiffest setting. So that's it for today's video. I'm charging my GoPro because it's dying, but hope y'all enjoying the content so far. And without further ado, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.